Hello, my name is Oleg Chernov, and today I'm going to tell you about the double grid function in 3D LUT Creator. You probably noticed shadows and highlights buttons. Let's look what they're for. When you edit the AB color grid, this change is applied to the whole image. But if you turn off these buttons, changes are no longer applied to shadows or highlights. The fader between those buttons determines the luminance threshold between shadows and highlights. When I move it to the right, wide range of luminance is considered as shadows, and small range is considered highlights. When I move it to the left, almost all range of luminance levels is treated as highlights. So, if I would like to affect shadows only, I make some correction and set the threshold point below which the colors are affected. Or I can affect only highlights and set from which brightness levels effect is applied. Next to the shadows and highlight buttons, there is a double button. When it is switched on, you'll have two grids instead of one. The top grid affects highlights, and the bottom grid affects shadows. This is similar to split toning in Adobe Lightroom, but with this program you have more possibilities. It is also possible to change threshold between shadows and highlights. When I move the mouse pointer over the image, the respective grid is chosen automatically, depending on the brightness of the image pixels. If I drag the bright area, the top grid is changed, and if I drag the dark pixels, the bottom grid is changed. Another thing we can do with those grids is changing the brightness separately for shadows and highlights. We can brighten highlights or darken them. We can also darken shadows or brighten shadows. And again, we can change the threshold between shadows and highlights. This gives us the ability to control contrast over certain colors. So for example, I brighten the highlights and darken the shadows. Now I can choose the midpoint for increasing the contrast. Let's try this on this photo. I pin all grid points in Control p shortcut. There are a lot of teal colors. If I increase the brightness of the teal color on the upper grid, the light flecks get brighter. If I decrease the brightness on the lower grid, the background gets darker. I can get the most contrast out of it just by adjusting the threshold. As these colors occupy large areas of the color plane, I'll also change the brightness of adjacent points. I can get even more contrast. So I change the contrast of the background, not affecting the face, because it's located in different color areas. Let's try increasing face contrast by brightening the points on the upper grid and darkening them on the lower grid. Or let's try decreasing it by brightening the shadows and darkening the highlights. Here's before, and here's after. Let's try this on another photo. For example, add one color cast to highlights and another to shadows, or vice versa. You can choose the best color combination for yourself. And once again, don't forget that we can adjust the balance between colors to our taste.
If I turn the double button off, then only one grid is left, and it affects the whole tonal range. There is also a copy down button, so the top grid is copied down to the bottom one, and a copy up button, so the bottom grid is copied over to the top one. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.